Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I would like to apologize for the for the group up here. So this is new to everybody. Okay. Um, we're a little behind. Staff is a little behind on schedule in terms of the SOP that some of you have mentioned. By the way, I agree with everything that that public comment relative to the SOP. We've had this is our third meeting. Um, I think that that has been discussed multiple times. We haven't really figured out exactly the format. Um, I think tonight you're going to see a very good example of that format. Um, this information I think was presented to the committee. We're going to have to probably get this back to the county attorney's office and get it back to the group. So it's going to be a process. But I'll talk about timeline real quick. Um, it, it was I was reminded that the appointment of this group had a very specific date in the MSPU. Some of you are shaking your heads, so you all know what I'm talking about. Because county staff did not get to the point of appointing this group until I don't know the date, but it was much later in the process. July, July 12th? Okay, there you go. Diane, you should be up here helping me out. So. Um, but you could. That's not, not an offer. <laughs> um, so we obviously are behind, okay? And it's not that they're behind, but collectively we're behind. So I wanted just to apologize for them on for staff being behind, but we're going to get back on track, and we agree with the process. I think this group agrees with everything that you're saying, but again, not having ever put one of these together, uh, you know, I mean, it's not something like, it's something you do every day. So here's an example. We talked to the county attorney's office. We talked to a couple other institutions. The idea here is to create a resolution that is very high level, so that way it, it, you're not getting into the weeds of what needs to happen, okay? Now, I also think, so two, two, two main objectives that we have to accomplish for this group. We have to adopt the, the bylaws and the SOP in the process, we all know that. But we also have to quickly figure out what the budget's gonna be for the first year assessment, okay? I do not have those dates in front of me right now, but there's multiple dates that we have to meet. And um, so we have to figure out the SOP to figure out the timelines, to figure out the budget process. That's what I think needs to happen. Uh, I wasn't at the last meeting, but I'm here tonight to hopefully clarify some of that. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So the, one minute. So the goal really for, for this group is to, this is a rough outline. It's not, the, it's not, it doesn't have all the details. The goal is to look at this and say, at a high level, are these the steps that should be included in the bylaws, basically, or the process? Based on our research, and Kavika did a really good job talking to the county attorney's office, I think this is enough to start the process, but your job tonight will be to look at this and, think, and, and, and add a comment if we miss any high-level steps in an SOP that need to be included. Is that clear? Right. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Good. So I, I'm not going to entertain a whole lot of back and forth with it. No, but I just want to ask your question. Yes, ma'am. So number one, you're going to give them this. Mm -hmm. Do they have time to think about it, or is yeah. it going to be like, okay? Not and the budget was not, it doesn't have to be until next May. So, yeah, they're not going to vote on anything other than they're going to provide input on this outline. Then we're going to do our part with the county attorney's office to flush all the details out. Then we present a draft back to this group to review, at which point, you know, also, the, I think someone mentioned public, you know, not public comments, but how we're communicating to the community. That is also on the agenda that we need to discuss as well. Okay. So I think we're all saying the same thing for the most part. Um, I'm very confident that we're going to get where we need to go. I've learned a ton on this project. Uh, it's been a long road. So I want to make sure my job, you know, helping my team is to make sure we get this right. And it's also make sure we get it right. Pete, I just have one more question. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just can I ask you one more question? This is not, the adv an advisory board right. is not new to the county. No. Do the are the other count advisory boards not have policies and procedures in place? They, they do, but they're they're very specific to whatever the goal is at hand. So, what I don't want to do is copy something that has a lot more in it than we what we need. I mean, as some of you already pointed out, the objective here for this board specifically is not very detailed. It's one steps one and two, right? Of which later would be flushed out and ultimately result in probably a larger document or more process, but. Right now, we got to get to the money too. Thank you, Brian. Back to you. All right, thank you. So we're just going to go through this fairly quickly so you have um, 
opportunity to ask questions. By no means do we do we the advisory committee can provide all the comments now. Um, so this was sent to you, I believe, on Monday. So our thought being, this is our skeleton outline for the rules of procedures. If we miss anything that is relevant to the advisory committee, then you would, you know, advise us that we need to add that. Or if there's something in there that shouldn't be there, we can we can delete it. I used um, some of the current resolutions in the county. Uh, some of the advisory committee sent me NSBUs from other counties uh, and filled this this document. It's just the skeleton doesn't have the meats and uh, potatoes or whatever. It's just, you know, it's just the, the outline. And over time, we, will, we can build it out your, you know, your recommendations as well as working with the county attorney. Uh, can you, can you so you do have a copy of this in your file. Do you guys each have it in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Just quickly glancing over it, is there anything that's obviously missing? I do want... Uh, to zoom out so that the audience can see the entire yeah. document. Run, run, through, run through from top to bottom, just real quick, and then open, open it up for discussion at the end of that. All right, so the first item would be the authority for the rules of procedure, and much of this information is going to come out of the resolution and the ordinance. So we copy and paste out of the resolution and ordinance, we copy and paste out of other resolutions within the count. Uh, so uh, uh, authority of the rules of procedure, then um, section two. Uh, section three would be the goals and objectives. I took the two main goals and objectives that were in, I believe, the resolution, copied and pasted them into this skeleton outline. The MSBU boundaries is also found, as we have in the resolution or ordinance. So we would just take that legal information and then we would pop copy that into this um, rules procedure. Section 5 will be the advisory committee. Again, much of that information is found in either the ordinance or resolution. Uh, the rules, and that's in the AC member uh, item A meeting. We can follow the, the guidance that's outlined in the meeting for the Board of County Commissioners. So that's a resolution that we can copy from, um, which would include a public comment section and how we want to allow the MSBU uh, assessment members to provide comment which could be in person or online, and that's um, through email, that's item two on today's old business agenda. And then section six would touch on the budget assessment, which would include the three components of the budget assessment, which is the repayment to the county, the capital improvements, and then the cost of ongoing operations and maintenance, and then the method of establishing that assessment, how the committee would determine what uh, infrastructure improvements, maintenance, uh, frequency um, that would be outlined in the rules of procedure. And then we would finally, at the end of that, we had a timeline, those dates that you have to hit in terms of getting that budget assessment on the trim notice and then sent to the property appraiser and the tax collector. Which would be for 2023. This would be for 24. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. And, and uh, what is that? annual assessment three, and I'll talk about some timelines for uh, old business item three. When the committee has to come up with a budget for fiscal year 24. Uh, last section would be identification, severability. <coughs> I think there's an item section nine. So to be clear, this would, this when this is completed, it would have to be adopted by the BCC as basically a resolution document that is approved by the board that outlines all these procedures, which is pretty standard practice. So we got to think about the timing of that. That's going to take some steps. We have to go to board. More importantly, we have to craft the document with your assistance. So. No input from both 
so that, that's something that this, this group does need to figure out. Um, they're technically appointed to represent the right. community. So we talked about that, I think, in the first meeting. How are we going to um, effectively communicate what, you know, what we're attempting to put together here to the community to get input? Um, I think I was, I think the group myself, I'm really envisioning that like after this piece was done, because this is something that was to Diane's point. This is nothing new for the county to put together. So I don't think what this group will construct is going to have, um, as long as we don't get into the weeds, it's just going to create the framework of how the future you know, um, committee is going to run. So um, I, I don't know if public input is really important on that, but I think I mean, that's up to this group to really, to really figure that out. We're going to have well, to make a comment on request them before it be voted on by the BCC that it at least be looked at by representatives of Gulf Harbors other than the advisory board. Okay, well that's something that we need to figure out. I'm not exactly sure how that works, to be honest with you. So. And, I'm not, and I want to be disrespectful to the group, but, but if I continue to answer questions, I understand. From, we'll, we'll never get through the meeting. Correct. So, um, I, we are taking notes. This is, I see Mr. Dabbs is recording, which is wonderful. As long as I get a copy of that, can I can use it you know, you are. for notes later on. Um, but yeah, let's just try to kind of focus. Thank you. So I'm going to open it up to the advisory committee on, well, that would be the chair. The chair would open it up to the advisory committee on any type of comment on item one. So you would have had a certain discussion on that? We are open for discussion. Anybody have anything to say? Just a general question on the, uh, the ordinance versus the resolution. Because the wording in the ordinance, uh, not that precedence, but it, it has to be considered along with the resolution. The reason I'm asking is there's a section six on the advisory committee of the ordinance that talks about uh, that the advisory committee should advise the county board of commissioners and all matters that relate to the operation of the maintenance of the SCB, including rules and restrictions to be imposed. So are those rules and restrictions part of our advice to the board of county commissioners to be included in the rules of procedure? So you're saying that on, in the ordinance section six, it's saying that uh, the second paragraph, is that what you're referring to? Okay. So in essence, if we were to establish these rules or procedures, and then we presented it in front of the board, and we worked with the county's attorney's office, I think it would be in compliance with that. Is that, is that what you're asking? Well, the, the aspect of basically part rules and restrictions is that part of the advisory committee's function to interpret those or provide guidance? Mm -hmm. Does anyone have a copy of the section six? I'll present that question to the county attorney's office just to make sure we're giving the yeah. right answer. 